In this tutorial we'll be using a number of different tools to help manipulate models within SolidWorks. Uh, in the tutorial we'll be using the chamfer tool, fillet, shell and mirror in the four tutorials. Start off with we're going to first concentrate on the chamfer tool so if I just I'll take all of these models that we don't need out so right down to here and we can just hang on, hide all of these so hide 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 okay there we go and then we can concentrate on what's going on here so before our model looked like this and then basically rather than having to go through a process of cutting all these edges down and so on we can actually use the tool called chamfer tool which is really nice and easy to use and quick and gives us certain dimensioned edges on the um, on the model. Okay, so first of all, I'd like you to open up where we left off last time. So if we go up here, and we should have our four models here and all positioned in the uh, history tree. What we can do now is we can turn them off like I did before. So right click, click hide, right click, hide, and right click, hide. Okay. So now we've got our working piece ready. And if we actually go to the zoom in, it will just zoom in on the item that is visible, not on the others. So that's quite handy. Okay, so the fillet tool. The fillet tool's located up here. And sorry, chamfer tool is located up here. And the chamfer tool, okay. So I'll click on the chamfer tool now. These are really quick and easy to use, so click on the chamfer tool. And basically, it gives us a dimension and an angle. So, if I click on one of the edges, we'll just notice what happens. Once I change the angle, if it gets deeper, I can flip the direction. Also, if I click the distance, that's the distance that it travels over, so I'm only So if I take this down now, and I just fiddle around with it, so like so, then we can see that that will actually change like so. But then, if we get it wrong, you can always right click, edit feature, because that's not what we want to do. It's just showing you what's possible. So usually, I'm just going to stick to 10, which is the uh, original settings on here, just to keep it simple and 45 okay because that will just touch the outer edge of the circle right so we've got that now down here usually sometimes you won't be able to see it and you'll be thinking this could be for two reasons one um, is generally because you haven't got the full preview option um, set another reason is because as you see before basically like that's right at the edge there and then if I go over that If I go over that with uh, the degrees, flip direction, it usually will go off. So there's too big a angle for it to cope with. So you've got to make sure that you keep either, you haven't got one or the other turned on. So you've got to make sure that you keep within the uh, the limits of the model basically that you're working on so right we could either have angle or distance or distance and distance so this basically means the distance distance means it's 10 away from there and 10 away from there and so on so we're ready now to put an edge on each of the areas so we'll go with the angle distance so I want 45 degrees and a distance of 10 and then we'll just click on the edges that we want to incorporate into this. So there, 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 there. Flip the model around there, like so. And that will do for now. Green tick, just to so show you how it works. And we can green tick that. And then that completes how to use the chamfer tool. Really simple and easy to use.
The next part to the tutorial is we're going to be using the fillet tool to give rounded edges to objects. Um, if we just go back into our previous one, okay, so we can see if we open up, if we open up our box, show that, and we take it down, we took the fillets on, okay. So this is exactly what it does. If we've got a sharp edge to start off with, and we apply the fillet tool, what it will give is we give a nice curved edge to um, certain dimensions so we can edit the dimensions. Uh, this is a really useful tool uh, utilized within engineering product design um, especially for mold tooling which um, which basically means that the molds that you use within injection molding or, or any kind of manufacturing process as this the reason behind that is we add a, a radius to the edge as it makes it, it it applies less stress than if it is actually a sharp edge sharp edges a lot of stress tends to uh, form and this is where objects will tend to fail if they don't have a radius on there so that's the reason why we have objects radiuses as well within uh, a mold it's a lot easier to eject a radius uh, than it is a radio, radio part with the radiuses than it is a part with sharp edges. Okay, so let's go back into our other model. Right, okay, now we've got our first block. We can turn that off, so we'll hide that. Right click, hide, and then we'll show our block that we'll be working on. Right click, show. And we'll bring that into the window by zoom to fit tool. Okay, here it is. Now we're ready to apply our fillet. So we go up here, we click. And here we have um, a load of X, um, options. So we've got constant radius, a variable radius is where, say, at one end we could have a radius of three, or and then at the other end it needs to be a radius of ten. So it's varying the whole way up. Um, face fillet so we select two edges and it will fill it between them so that edge that edge um, we'll clear that and full rounded fillet so if we select three edges so there there and there that won't actually work, but it'll apply basically a fillet all the way around. So we're going to stick with constant radius, okay? So if we clear, right click, remember if you've got selections in here that you don't want, you can always right click, clear selections, okay? So now we're ready to apply our first fillet. I mean, we're only going to be the simple constant radius to start off with. So we'll do one, two, click on the edges that you want to use, three, and they'll appear in here. As I say, if you get one wrong, you can right click, delete. So there, click, 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 click. Selecting the edges we need. Okay, there we go. That's going to be the first part. Right. Basically, if we can't see a preview at all, this might be for a number of reasons. Number one, um, this down here we've got full preview, part preview, which will only show one, or full preview, which I usually tend to have it on full preview, unless the part's really complex and there's loads of fillets, then you'd have a partial preview, but full preview works really nicely. And then, we, um, we if the, basically it won't show, if watch now, if it's too big, if we're over the amount, then, then basically the fillet won't work, so... We'll just use that. Leave that as 10 for now, okay? Right, so we've done that. That's our first fillet. And we'll just add another fillet now. We're going to add a fillet to these edges. Now, at the moment, I want this to fillet to go the whole way around. So what we can do is we'll select 2.5, which is half the distance of this. And that will add our edge, and then we'll do it on the back, like so. And it will select the whole way around. Okay, so 2.5 sets an upper edge, bottom edge, and that will select the whole way around. And we'll green tick that. And there we go. And there we have our completed fillet.